worship Him. Thank Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the In 
Jesus name. Why don't you tell that to the Lord this morning? First to today Bible study. I mean to Sunday worships. Please, I pray that the grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Where are we going to have the house fellowship? The house fellowship tell us before we leave. Yeah, they say okay, we are going to have it here. Praise the Lord. We shall quickly go into our Bible reading, the Book of John, chapter twelve. The Book of John, chapter twelve. I said chapter 3, I think chapter 12. Chapter 12. Chapter 12. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the bag, and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, Let her alone. Against the day of my burying hath she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. Much people of the Jews therefore knew that he was there, and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death, because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him, and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh sitting on an ass's colt. These things understood not his disciples at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The people therefore that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. For this cause the people also met him, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people therefore that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said an angel spake to him. 
Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Jesus, and departed, and did hide himself from them. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah said again, He hath blinded their eyes, and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. May God bless his one our heart in Jesus' name. Let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you once again for opportunities you give to us today. Started from the scripture up to this level. We told a lot about we must be free totally from sin. And then you let us observe it. Not the outward sin alone, but inner sin that is being set us back. That we supposed to have been greater than this, but because of those little, little forces that no any human being can see, but only you. But it has been a weight that do not let us excel all resources. Father, we pray this morning you are going to set us free in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, all things that be are hindrances to our spiritual growth, to our physical growth, our material growth, because the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be added unto us. Then why are we seeking first the, the kingdom of God? Everybody see it. But all other things that are supposed to be added unto it, we are still yearning. We are still running. We are still struggling. We are still spend all our energy to get it. M meanwhile, that is not your promise. Your promise is that all seek you first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be, shall be added unto you. Father, the price we need to pay in order to seek that kingdom of God, is that little, little things that is destroying our fire. And it's either we pay that price, then you assault, I mean, you, we excel, or we do not pay it. 
and we continue to be where we are. But this morning, O oh Lord, we have discovered discover ourselves. And we have not all those areas, those little, little things within husband and wife, within wife and husband, between children and their father, within father and their children, within us, the, the friends. Father, I pray by the grace in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to set us free in Jesus' name. And this is sign of my children, Lord, you will give to you will put into the life of every one of us in Jesus' name, and your grace is going to be sufficient. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Because of our time that has gone, I will, will skip the choir song. And then by the grace of the Lord, I will pray to us today about God. God is still on the throne. You know, I don't know. God will make every one of us a good leader in Jesus' name. And then we will continue to be a good example before our brethren in Jesus' name. What matters most, the reason why we are gathering is to get to the kingdom of God. Uh, many times I preach two or let's say two times I preach messages and then not even the members now the leaders and they accuse me the pastor Matthew do you think when you are preaching this kind of message the church will be full that's a good question and then even the last Bocas meeting we had I think I was telling my wife that the pulpit is not a place whereby you condemn. It's a place whereby you bring people into the Lord. But there are some things that just need to be clear. The truth must be preached. And then if we don't know, if we don't tell ourselves, if we don't preach it to ourselves who else is going to preach it who else is going to tell us and we will continue to call ourselves a light in the world we will continue to condemn we will continue to condemn other we will continue to say what they have done is bad yes we have seen it we may be good 80 percent we may be good 85 percent we may be good 90 percent but the 10%, if we do not strive, if we do not struggle to attain it, if we do not let the king, our kingdom of God become violent, how are we going to make it to the kingdom of God? And then everyone of us, I don't know the English name for it, there is something inside the, the goats. It's very, very small, but green in nature. And the, the problem is that no matter how, when you kill that goat and that green thing busted or it bursts and then it spread onto the goat, no matter how you cook that goat, it's very, very small. It destroys the goat. Then you're asking me, why do you normally leave me to make a physical example? Jesus talk about parable. And then he make himself a lot of example. And then I always pray to God, if there's anything in my life that I want it to be, it's open life. There's still a lot of struggling. But there was a time Paul was saying, till now, I'm still struggling to get to the crown. But when he got to the book of Philippians, he said, yes, I'm not sure the crown is of me. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the crown will be of us in Jesus name the main purpose of coming to a church like this is not because of any other thing and that's why we are receiving the armor that's why we are receiving the nail that's why we are being crucified out of sin almost every time we are here both in the church in the Bible study and in the house fellowship individually not because of any other thing 
so that we will not lose focus that heaven is the goal if it is about the business we have been preaching on how to make profit out of the business if about the academic we have been engaging there's nothing more than academics and then anytime we are we be our message will be uh, oriented on that academics but whenever we come here whatever whatever we are preaching is about the kingdom of god and i pray by the power and the blood of jesus christ neither me nor you we miss it in jesus name and the grace of the lord will be there in jesus name that, that one let me bring the message of today god is still on the throne i don't know you have come to a time and it seemed like why god why am i poor why god why do you make my life like this many times i sit down i thank god for my spouse i sit down many times and i ask my question as a sum of the question that's why i'm praying i'm praying that i will continue to be a good example for everybody in jesus name that okay god you know when i'm coming to this world you know everything about me and you know that i'm not perfect why do you even let me go in that i know it was wrong but why i don't know maybe you have come to a situation you said i know my parents try they do a lot of things in order to take me to where i am now but this part when you take 10 people i mean 10 of my age mates you take them by the time i compare myself i'm not up to them in standard <coughs> and you are thinking about it why god why me you look at yourself many times you look at those people who are riding big cars you look at yourself many times you look at those people who are living in a good house and then you don't know you don't even think that even they they have challenges and you buy your down your head down i've struggled in life at this particular time i've done this this particular time i've done this but why god my own situation is like this you look at yourself many times and you look at it, if there's anybody that need to be partially faithful it is you not because of any other thing because you have no him and you know that he is the author of the life and death but the struggling continue you look at the left you look at the right it seems like we still things are not gathering the way you look at it and it's like god where are you where are you going to wipe away my tears but i want you to know that god is on the throne and he will never forsake you he will never leave you alone in jesus name those people whom you are thinking they succeed those things whom you are thinking they are somebody you want to be like them yes we need to struggle to attain the what they call superiority but they too they still have challenges and then you'll be thinking that somebody that have billions of dollars at home is still struggling there's still a lot of problem that you cannot solve that how you will know life is a stage but the only thing we need to do to stop complaining and concentrate on whatever god has given us as a summon to do i will take you to killing land i'm the one that promised you i know there's a better place i know you are eating very well in israel i know i am in mean egypt i know i can do a lot of things to stop the egyptians from suffering you 
After all, I was the one that said, okay, all their firstborn should die. Why can't I say you should stay in the Egypt and I do that thing, then by the time all their, all their, all their firstborn I mean, die, then you will not take over. Because they must have lost a, lip, a lot of labor force. During the time their firstborn died. But he said, I have a place that is better than Egypt, which I want to take you to. And that is Kilanai. Follow me, and I will take you there. So it's a matter of you to concentrate. And I want to tell you this morning, by the great of the Lord, your tomorrow is better than today in Jesus' name. You can assure me. Everyone that sit down here can tell me that your today has been better than yesterday. And that one, let me know that your tomorrow is better than today in Jesus' name. In the book of Numbers, chapter 20, the book of Numbers, chapter 20, the book of Numbers, chapter 20, I will read for us 1 to 13, if I can read them all because of our time. Book of Numbers, chapter 20, I will read for us 1 to 13. 1 to 13. Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, into the desert of sin in the first month. And the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam dead there, and was buried there. And there was no water for the congregation. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. They are forgotten. The time God led them out, out of Egypt, whereby they are being used like a, like a slave, not like a slave, as a slave. The same thing. My dear brother, my dear sister, although I've moved with many of you, anytime we are discussing, all what you do is praise God. And then you, know, you trust me, if I've seen anybody that is not grateful, you know I will say it. For every one of us that is in this church, I've never discussed with any one of you, and if there's anyone, it is me. That's all we look back. All, almost every one of you have been always praised God. And the praises of the Lord, devil in your mouth, devil will not shut it up in Jesus' name. Stop complaining. It's taking you to a high place and you will get there in Jesus' name. It's just a matter of time. God will wipe away your tears. Move with him. Do not leave him alone. If there's anything I want to glorify the name of the Lord for, there's a lot of testimony in my mouth, especially this year. And then talk of anything people have in this world that God has not done for me. They are just numerous. And I look at the life of every one of you. I've not seen what God has not done. Except that He's taking us to higher places. And we will get there in Jesus' name. The question of I mean, the Israelites, why did you bring the law, I mean, law community into the desert? That we and our livestock should die here. But have they forgotten it? He is taking them to a certain place. And then to get to that certain place, they need to cross over. Whatever we call cross over is cross over. There's nothing you can do. You have to cross that thing over. Part of what they need to cross over is in the wilderness. Wilderness is there for so many years. God did not ask them about wilderness. He didn't talk to them about, about wilderness. Even when he wanted to take them back, he didn't talk to them that, that there's a wilderness on the road. Because wilderness has been there on itself for a purpose. 
Then the part of that purple is that Israelites should cross over it. Then they have forgotten the promise God said them that He is going to do for them. The same thing you, my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord. The what you are passing through. Do not forget you are the one that called upon the name of the Lord that you want to be this, you want to be that. I was the one that called upon the name of the Lord that I want to be, I want to go to school, and if you give me the school, I will be graceful. But I've never seen anybody that go to school that do not pass through exam. Then why the problem of this one started, maybe in mass or the other one started, and I'm not grumbling. Why God, you did, why you did not give me the brain? Why should I not ask for the brain before I ask for mathematics? Or before I ask for the school? And then you cannot tell me, if you are brother, I see that, that all what he has passed through to become what he has become today, there's no day, there was a cause that was so, so tough that you need to, you need to pass. So to for passing that test, that means God is taking you to, to higher post. For being in that economic situation, that means God is going to take you. I don't know if I've told us this story when we are coming to the United States. And there was a single mistake that was happened. Then our application was rejected. I did not know that they even they have taken all my credentials. It was with them. The only thing, because the file we went to was just too big. And then they gave us the letter that the application rejected. My dear brother, even Pastor Kumo, you pray for us. But if you see what we went through, to be what we now be that, that we can, I can boast that if the president wants to send anybody away, let them send it away. It was a war. It was, a, it, was a, it was like a war. But now, I can laugh. And many of you too, you must have passed through a lot of things economically. And that's what you are passing through is telling you today. If you continue to be sober and depend upon that the name of the Lord, it's going to take you to promised land in Jesus' name. Look back, look at yesterday. All what you passed through that particular period. I do not know that if I've told you this kind of story. That when I was young, I, when I was when I was a youth, there's no way I will put out a cloth that there's no holes inside it. It was recently my wife was telling me, my husband, where are you still putting all this cloth? This part of all the cloth you have. That has become a past tense. And then if God can do it for somebody like me, I know He's going to do it for you in Jesus' name. My dear mother, my dear sister, God is still on the throne. More complaint from the people. He rationally blamed Moses and Aaron. Stop blaming anybody for your complaint. Why can't you just concentrate on the promise of the Lord that I'm going to take you? How many years have you been with your parents? How many years have you stayed alone? How many years have you been with that particular person? How many years have you stayed alone? That the mistake you think they pass on to you, you cannot able to correct it. It was few years. How many years Moses went to them? When God sent them, it wasn't long for the, the, the aim of Moses to go. He was just sent. And then he was sent, they were still blaming him. The same thing. If, why did you do this? It is Satan. Adam, why did you do this? It is my wife. Put him blaming. Upon some people that is not, that is, it's not even the matter of them. Stop it. Concentrate on your journey. When the effort, there's a mistake. No, there's a mistake. Nobody is perfect except God. Jesus will call a perfect master. He said, who told you that I'm a perfect? 
but God that is in heaven. So in your crossing over to the next stage, in your getting to your destination, surely, mistake will come up. The person that come on your way that you think is a, is a, is a stopping block, is a ladder. And if you if you know how to pray, it's a part of it's a part of the exam. And every one of us, we are going to pass it in Jesus' name. Do not forget. All of them, they die on the way. They were the one that God promised, and then the Bible even said, nothing will pass uh, uh, pass away out of my word. I mean, every other thing may pass, uh, I mean, pass, uh, may pass uh, but an uh, altar of my word will not pass away, we start coming to materialization. But unfortunately, this one passed away. The Israelite, they did not witness it. Why? Complain. <coughs> my parent does not do this. My wife does not do this. My husband does not do this. My pastor does not do this. The member of the church does not do this. Who oh, I expect to do this that have not done it? Complain. Instead of learn from that area that God, what has happened? And what do you want me to learn? That little, little forces, you let it destroy your fire. This morning, you are going to realize yourself in Jesus' name. And you will know that that person you are taking is a, is a stopping block. It's a trial that you need to pass and you will pass and you get to your destination in Jesus' name. One of the sins of Israelites is that they easily forget what God has done for them. The same thing many of us. I will tell you a story. And not just any okay, I've been keeping this story for you. I will say I will tell you, although my brother knows about it. But if God can do it for me, God can do it for you. There was a time I was sick. That one when I was in the college. And then I know you cannot be insulting me if I tell you this story. My wife said, oh, I tell everybody, I say everybody so that you can know where I'm coming from. And I was sick to the extent that it seemed like I want to have mental problem. The, the trial was too tough to the extent that during that time when I was in the school, you will see when I'm, I'm sleeping, I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to pray in the dream. Then they will put all this stone they used to make the, the road, they will put it on my mouth. Look at that thing like a, like a cake. Then when I can call in the name of Jesus, it was the stone I will be pressing. And I will, I will open my eyes, I will see the, 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 the implication of my mouth. I will sleep and then you will see evil forces pressing me down. Not a play. Not a play. So when I tell you that what, what pastor did I say, you can see. So the house whereby my mommy took care of me that time, I remember I would lie on the bed and I would be all this cloth, evil forces, you know, uh, if I said I out of the nine in my family, even from the grandfather, I was the first graduate, if you know what I mean. From father, um, father, then my own father, then to my own generation. I was a full graduate. Then you, you know what I, what I face. And no one, except my juniors that were following me. No one. Then I slept on the bed and then I started throwing my mom clothes, throwing them away. I want to sleep and then I remember I put on the short knicker. I want to go out. Until I'm getting to somewhere. Then I, I was in school. So I went for receipt of one of my course. When I went for the receipt, that was statistics. Then I have A. I think we are the only two that have A. Then one of my brothers said, hmm, 
not that Brahmachi is not smart. It was the Air Force that were too much on him. You know what he called the Air Force? Which is and the wizard. But what my pastor was telling me, the little I move with the Lord, that's the little I'm saying the graces of the Lord. The battle was too much for me. Many times I would be, you can't, I was doing exam. I remember accounting exam. I was doing it and then in the exam all. And I was seeing all what I read, but I was crying. I couldn't put down anything. To the extent that the supervisor that was supervising us said I should be copying the. You can see that. He said I should be copying the, my partner beside me. And I was crying. When I was leaving, he told me, my dear brother, be full of prayer. But what did I want to say? It was last week or day before. The, I mean, not tell Brazil me up to this level. That house where I was running mad, where my mother kept me and I, I was here, that house, I bought that house completely with the land. And then they sent for me. So the person that bought the land, that bought the house for me was saying, they said you do this. I said yes, but that's too small. I couldn't tell him. So that he would not be looking at me like a <laughs> so he has run man before. But I said that is small. He said, but they said you did it when you were young. I said, that is small. I wanted to tell him, but one of my spirit was, you know, I can tell you, because you are my brother, my, you are my sister, you understand? But he, I can't tell him because he was an unbeliever. And he said, you did this, I said, yes, but that is small. My flesh wanted to tell him, to let, to let him praise the name of the Lord, but my spirit said, no. But what did I want to say to him? That I was 20 years ago, where I was treated, Last month, the house was bought for me with the land. That's what God can do. Whereby enemy think you are going to be buried and they are going to see your dead body by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will become landlord of that place in Jesus' name. There's nothing too difficult for him to do. I do not know if I've complained. I, I just want you to know that stop complaining. Be focused. Stop murmuring. God is taking you into destination. I was just playing. Not, I knew it was not minute. He said, I went to my MD. I said, ah, I want you to take me to the United States. He said, I said, I will put you inside the bag. That United States, I come for 10 years. Nobody can send me away. Nobody will send me away. I'm even the citizen of that country. That's what God. That's my own testimony. You have your own testimony. I'm just telling you this one that you to know that the problem you are encountering is a ladder to your progress in Jesus' name. And I was telling the man, you may not know the reason. Maybe my mom wants to, to buy this house. You may not know. I don't know. My mom was made with your person and everybody had been saying, as far as I do not go home, whatever I can do to make him happy, I should just make him happy. And but I told them, that man that if you tell this woman this is the person that bought the house, the person, the person will remember because I remember. She only come and greet my mom when I was sick. That's my own part of story, my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord. Your own testimony too is coming on the way in Jesus' name. And it has come. And you are going to fulfill. God's provision for his children is never limited. In my act in the way of deliverance, 
it might act from the way of maybe sickness. That's the little I could just tell you about my life. But if God can deliver Israelites from that problem, surely you are the particle of his blessing. He's going to deliver you in Jesus' name. And your prob- I mean your your testimony is going to be full in Jesus' name. Hold on to him. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 2, verse 7. God has never done anything without providing for his children. The only problem we have is that we easily forget. And whenever the trial comes, whenever problem comes, remember, he is still on the throne. If you can take you to this level, if you can bring you to this level, surely he will let you finish the race in Jesus' name. The Tarolomi 2, 7. The Tarolomi. Two, seven. The ceremony. Two, seven. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He knows your working through this great wilderness. Is the one that has been with you, and is the one that brings you to the wilderness you are now, and surely He will take you out. Is the one that brings you to the challenges you are facing. You are facing now. Surely, he will take you out. Is the one that brings you to the ladder you are mounting now. Surely, he will take you out. Whenever you get home today, all what you need to do is to praise him. I know that the path of getting to your destination is a path of what you are facing. No matter the situation, no matter the challenge. And those people who laugh last, they love the best. We shall laugh last in Jesus' name. Because of our time, I want you to know. Always remember that God has his own guardians in getting you to your destination. And do not run after him. Moses, this is what I want you to do. Strike the rock just one time. What did Moses do? He strike the rock twice. And what did even he, what did he do again? He was boasting. Do you think I cannot bring water for you out of the rock? And Moses took all the glory for himself. My dear brother, my dear sister, always remember the promises of the Lord on you. Do not try to take all the glory for yourself. Let the glory be unto him. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will continue to surprise you in Jesus' name. God does not punish them here. He, he actually provides for their need and is patient with them. A clear sign of God compassion. If you look at all what you have done, if you look at the training of today, the message of today, on total freedom from sin, and if you look at the time you say you have become born again, you have become a Christian, and you look at all what you have done, if God is going to be sincere like a woman being, you don't need, you don't supposed to be where you are today. But despite all what we have done, despite all the risk, he's still blessing us. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, his mercy, we are not going to be out of his mercy in Jesus' name. Strike the, strike the rock just one time. Listen to me. Obey my word. I will take you above what you are thinking. But along the line, 
we are thinking if we walk in this way if we will walk in that way we will be able to get to our destination it cannot make it let us concentrate on the commandment of the law and by the power and the blood of jesus christ we will get this in jesus name be godliness when you are suffering in that's all part of what we learn today do not compromise compromise sin do not think that nobody is seeing you do not think that hey, this brother is not there do not think that that sister is not there believe that whatever you are doing at any particular time at any particular case at any particular period almighty god is seeing you if you have that fear in mind if if you are sitting down here and you are doing something and your pastor is coming or oh, pastor that is coming or oh, Jesus is coming the way you are is the way you are it won't be like me that my wife is coming one day and i i quickly go back and look at my computer back maybe i open the account so let us be very very sincere us be faithful to almighty god if what do we bring into this world we are not going to take them into the kingdom of god anything little thing that you know that is going to compromise the commandment of the lord from whatever you want to do let it go i've learned i've learned from him and I've seen the race is for it's not for the best runner, but it's for those people who have the grace of the Lord. Always, always remember the word of the Lord. That shall not. And as far as you are remembering that word, it will elevate you, it will take you to where you easily what you are not thinking about is going to come on your way. Because it said my glory i will not share with anyone and he will continue to be with you he will continue to be with me in jesus name my dear brother my dear sister in the lord do not forget that's what all what moses did running away from egypt go back to egypt taking them through the red sea Taking them through the wilderness, asking for wilderness. The only thing that do not let Moses get to the promised land is compromising anger. And that's the anger we are telling you that you do not know. Your wife call me anger. Your spouse call me anger. You are talking to your children, anger. Children are talking to you, anger. Your, your religion are talking to you, anger. And that's the only thing that do not let Moses make it to the kingdom of God. This is the person that says, I don't even want to go to that kingdom. Destroy my life. But save the life of these people. But at long run, my dear brother Moses couldn't make it. Be careful. Of that it doesn't matter and that's why i always tell everyone of us here as a leader that be mindful of whatever you are saying especially those are our messages you have the privilege of go and listen to yourself of listening to all our pastors and know that all what you have, you have been saying all what you have been saying you are adhered to you you are doing it so that all those words will not be against us in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. It just a sin. He missed you God's gift of leadership. He did what he wanted rather than what God wanted. I want to do this. I want to do that. Without surrendering like Jesus Christ himself surrender. Jesus Christ said, if possible, God. This is the most powerful man in the world. 
this is the person that has power. He said, I can ask. Why did you cut his, I mean, his ear? I can ask what, I mean, for, uh, he cut the name. I can ask them to come down to come and fight. But he said, let your will be done. But when it comes to the will of the Lord, we human beings, we, we, we forget the will of the Lord. We want our will. And you be like me. Was that last Sunday? I was saying something and I said, uh, there's something we need. We, Jesus said we should pray. You know, sometimes when I say God in the, on the pulpit, I go back and think about it. I don't know what you are saying. Maybe in the Bible study or during the night video or something like that. I was saying that God said, ask and you shall be given. That we should ask for this thing. After I went back, and God speaking to, keep speaking to me, it's very difficult for everyone, for some of us, to say, let your will be done. It does not mean we shouldn't pray. He would have said we should pray, but by the time you are hearing from God, he will direct you on what to ask, and not what your flesh wants. And this is the area we are getting things wrong. Our relationship within God is not enough. So let us make sure that every opportunity God has given to us, we do not misuse it. Because he wants to be proud. He was so anger that, okay, I can bring water out of this rock. They have annoyed him. He has forgotten himself. Many times, our spouse annoyed us. Instead of cool down, devil come through that one. You say, how do I know that devil come through that one? It was through the, the eve. Devil comes. Many times, husband may annoy the, uh, may, may annoy the wife. And you are forget, forgetting the world. That shall not be angry. And through that, the devil ran you up. The after all, you said, is your child. But look at this little thing. And that's why I always tell every one of us, be careful. Little, little forces that destroy the fang the, the, the yard. And the only way we can conquer that is by reading our Bible regularly. Move closer to our Bible regularly. If a sister, including me, your sister, no, but it, everything you too, you are not doing right. How do we want to be right? I said, my brother, that always claim here yeah, that he read his Bible regularly. Many of us will read our textbook. Like I used more than 24 hours in, in my mass last week, or week before the last. At that time, I can use 30 minutes. I use it, but I want to tell you, maybe a challenge. I used 25 hours because as I was going, I come to I go to my brother. Now, I came back as I was still on that, and it was in my record in the in the computer that I used 25 hours on that. The problem then is have I ever use, especially since I come to United States, have I ever used two hours to read my Bible? I, my dear brother, my dear sister, forget your wisdom, forget your understanding, forget the knowledge you have. Focus on our ability of God in order to deal with your problem. And it will give you success in Jesus' name. Mistake will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Any miscalculating of steps, it may be the end of the dream. Any a single miscalculating of steps, it may be the end of the dream. And except you are somebody that is hearing from God regularly. My dear brother, my dear sister, you may be thinking it is the will of God we are pursuing, but it is will of our flesh. And there are many people, let's say, they have gone in one way or the other. We have forgotten them. But guide, God guide them. And the grace of the Lord will continue to be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. Let's say, Paul, do not hear the word. That's how God loved Paul. Let's say, Paul, do not hear the word of the Lord. Let's say, God didn't call, I mean, God didn't call Paul 
Look at how many letters till now. After Jesus Christ, the next person you will take is Paul. In evangelizing the word of the Lord. Even Peter, Paul did more than him. But let's say he didn't hear the word of the Lord, he didn't obey the word of the Lord. He will have been forgotten in the surrendering. He will have been forgotten among the Jews. He will have been forgotten among, among the Pharisees. Because after him, there will continue to be other person that is more learned, more learned than him. But because he obeyed the word of the law, he listened to the word of the law, till now, after Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about redemption, but when we are talking about those people who promote the work, the work of the law, is Paul. And that's why half of the Bible It's almost written by him. So if you say you want to go according to your own will like Paul, we may become Mark and Barnabas. When they decided to go on their own will, when Paul said, let us go, we will do this with Barnabas and Mark said, we are going to go on this way. And that was the end. The only thing you can do is hearing from Almighty God. Know how to talk to Him. And He will continue to talk to every one of us in Jesus' name. God still on the throne. This was the water of Mary Bear. Why did Israel query with the Lord? And where He showed Himself only among them? This water is bitter. And God changed the water to be sweet. But they are forgotten. That God that changed that water to be sweet is still on the throne. When they are shouting, they are they were feeling thirsty. Disciple, look at all these people. What are they going to eat? Have you forgotten the one we did about a month ago? Five, I mean, maybe it's not even a month. That we use two fish and five loaves of bread to feed more than five thousand people. Why are you worried this time? Of, this time around, they are forgotten. Have you forgotten when you are trying to have this certificate to have this certificate, but now you are struggling to have that certificate? And as a result of that, all what you are doing is complaining. All what you are doing is argue, I, I, I argue with the Lord. You are forgotten. That God that did that one of the past is still on the throne. Why many of us are having high blood pressure? Why many of us are sick? Why many of us are doing this kind of this kind of that? Because we are forgotten. That goal that brings you to that level in no way it can take you to that nobody can ever compare and it will take you there, it will take me there in Jesus' name. One true judge Moses and Aaron show his righteousness by giving water to his thirsty people and their animal, he show his mercy. If you can do it, he will do it for me. He will do it for you. Just keep the word of the Lord. Always remember where you are coming from. And know that not your effort, not my effort, have ever done it. But that grace of the Lord. And that grace of the Lord is still on the throne. Relax. Follow his commandments. Obey his word. I want to become 20, I want to become 30 in my language. It's a problem. Surrender everything unto him. Wherever he go, follow him. Wherever he said, let us go, follow him. He will take you to your destination in Jesus' name. Does that mean that one need to be lazy? No. But be prayerful. Be more powerful in prayer. And see. If the little thing you do in the world, it will not be crowned. Only God can take you to upper place. 
by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to take you there in Jesus' name. Do not run after him. Run before him. My dear brother, my dear sister, once again, I tell you, as I tell myself, as I tell everybody I know, that that God is still on the throne. He will do your own. He will wipe away your tears. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, surrender all. As Jesus surrendered on the, on the garden of Gethsemane, that's why that he went to pray. And the Bible tells us the sweat that was coming was like a drop of water. The blood, like a, it was like a, I mean, sweat of, I mean, blood. That drop of blood. If somebody can pray like that, and that long one said, not my way, but let your way be done. What have you put in that you think you will, you will not let it go? That God is still on the throne. And he will, he will finish for you he will do it for you in Jesus' name. Let us go on to the prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, I surrender all. What is that thing that's troubling you? What is that particular thing that you are so bothered? And this kind of giving you peace of mind, it gives you high blood pressure. Instead of giving you peace of mind, he knows everything about you. He knows where he's taking you to. He will take you to the, your destination. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. I want you to know that goal that has been keeping you from the day one up to this level is still on the throne. All the one you use your power, all the one we use our power to achieve, where are they today? They were even failure on our side. But the one he has done was the one that was done perfectly. Call upon him. That God is still on the throne. name for pray father because you are on the throne it is well it is well with our spirit our soul and our body Father, you make it the way where there seems to be no way you know the end from the beginning father was so every challenge so oh God was so every situation of oh God has served as a wilderness Father, the strength to go through it, O oh God, and get into the promised land. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, every bitterness in the life, O oh God, of your children, I pray, Lord, that you will turn them into sweetness. Father, in the midst, O oh God, on the trials, in the midst, oh God, of every predicament. Father, I pray that you will give every one of them, oh Lord, the power to be obedient to you in Jesus' name. Father, at the end, oh Lord, your will alone will be done in our lives. Father, we know your thought towards us is of good and not of evil to bring us to an expected end. Father, take us, O oh God, out of the wrong track and put us, O oh God, in the way that we ought to be. Father, lack is counsel. Father, setback, stagnancy is counseled. In the name of Jesus testimonies we come forth Christ we leave oh God we're not leaving your presence we pray that your presence oh God will go and abide with us we are going oh God we'll leave oh God a victorious and a successful Christian life in the name of Jesus 
Father, we trample upon every Goliath. We will trample upon every giant on our way. Everything that looks so hard, Father, we bring them to subjection. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, in the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.